Hey everyone, welcome back to the sixth day of Craftmas. I can't believe my Craftmas series is already halfway done. Today I made these campfire mugs and I am completely obsessed with these. They are so fun to add vinyl to during the holidays. I hope you enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do and subscribe to my channel if you are new. I'm going to click on uploads and find my SVG. Here's my SVG. I'm going to insert this into Cricut Design Space. For this SVG, I am going to move all of the words around because it's going on a mug and it's a little too wide for me. I want it to be more narrow and also I want to add a couple of snowflakes as well. So I'm going to click on ungroup. First I'm just going to attach each word together. All of those are attached, so now I'm just going to move this around. Now I'm just going to move the snowflakes around as well. And I'm going to duplicate these and add a few more snowflakes. The last thing I'm going to do is grab a couple snowflakes from the images in Cricut Design Space. So I'm going to go to images and search for snowflake. I'm going to use this one. I pay for Cricut Access, but it looks like this one is actually free. So I'm going to insert that into Cricut Design Space. I'm going to change it to black and I'll add this to my design. I'm going to duplicate this and just make one more. So what I'm going to do now is highlight over all of this. I'm going to hit attach and then I'm just going to size it. I want to make it three and a half inches for the height because that's how tall my mug is. And it makes it about 2.89 inches for the width. One thing I want to show you that I like to do as well, this is definitely an extra step, but it really helps to visualize what your design is going to look like. I am going to go to Amazon and, or you can just go to Google, but I'm going to search for campfire mug. And I'm going to select this one because it looks like the one that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to select that. And with this picture, I'm going to save this image. And now I'm going to go to upload and I'm going to upload that image. And I am going to upload this into Cricut Design Space. I'll do the print and cut and I'll hit save. This is just a way to visualize what it's going to look like. You're not going to actually do anything with this. So I'm going to insert this into Cricut Design Space. This is something that sometimes I like to do if I'm struggling with what I want to put on a design. So if you're struggling with that, try uploading an image into Cricut Design Space and playing around with it. So what I'm going to do is send this to the back and bring my design over it so I can see what it's going to look like. I'm going to move the image because I've already sized my design. And here you can see what it's going to look like and I think it looks really cute. So that's a really fun thing that you can do if you're really struggling to figure out what your end project is going to look like. Now I'm just going to hide this 
I'm going to double check this sizing. It looks good, so I'm going to click on make it. These cuts in the snowflakes are so tiny, so I hope that it'll cut it out okay. So now I'll click on continue, and I will select vinyl. The Cricut will cut out the design. I'm using black or Cal 651 vinyl, which is permanent vinyl. I would recommend still hand washing the mugs and not putting this in the dishwasher. I start weeding out my design. I tried to do this as slow as possible because it is pretty small and intricate. I was impressed with how well the Cricut was still able to cut out these cut lines though. I still ended up losing both of the dots to the eyes. I was able to get one of them from the weeded vinyl, but I had to go back in and cut one more dot to the eye. I add the last dot, then wean out the rest of the design. I found this campfire mug at TJ Maxx for $3.99. It's a really good size. I bought a red one on Amazon also, but it was much smaller for around $6. You can see here the size difference, so I would definitely look out for these at TJ Maxx. I know I've seen them at Target as well, or if you're looking on Amazon, just check the size because I did not do that. <laughs> I take the tag off and wipe the mug down with rubbing alcohol first. Then I take my transfer tape and add it to my decal. I scrape it down really good. I just recently got the XL scraper and I'm in love with it. I haven't uh, used my old one since I got this one. I lined my decal up on my mug. I ended up using the rubbing alcohol bottle to hold the cup up. I always have to get creative with this when you have those like round mugs. I press it down in the center first, then work my way out. After that, I take the transfer tape off. And oh my gosh, like I said, I'm obsessed with how these came out. I say this in every video, but this will make such a great gift. You can add hot chocolate with maybe a gift card in there as well for family and friends for Christmas. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Hit the bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos. And check out my Patreon account in the description box below if you would like to support my channel even further. And there are some perks as well when you join. And have a great day.